Hello fellow YouTubers, this is Bill McFadden from Tone to Your Music. And in this video, we're going to take a look at eight more brass libraries. <clears throat> now, some of them are specialty libraries, special effects. And we'll first look at the ones that, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll play our cue. So let's go ahead and start with Sonya Score. And then next we'll take a look at Albion Tundra, which is another, which is an ensemble library. So the range had to be adjusted because the, in the patches they had, they didn't actually let you go as high as normal brass does. So the next one we'll look at is Albion 1. And then the next one we'll take a look at is uh, Cinebrass. <clears throat> and the reason we're skipping Albion 3 is it's a specialty brass library, as is Orchestral Swarm. So here's um, Cinebrass. And then we'll take a look at Project Sam's Orchestral Bass Brass Classic. And now we'll take a look at Symphobia 1. Okay, <clears throat> so now we'll take a look at some of the other libraries, starting with Orchestral Swarm.
And Orchestral Swarm is a specialty library. And these are some of the brass patches, the relevant brass patches. We have <clears throat> brass, which is a general patch for your low high brass and mid. Then a horns patch, specifically with French horns, and then bones and tubas. <clears throat> so So here's your general brass pad. Now, again, this is specialty. So what you get is random players playing the same note. And then let's take a look at the next patch, which is just horns only. So these are good patches to use with nature scenes where you have um, maybe animals that are being observed and photographed or videoed. So you can keep the patch going and it creates an interest. Let's take a look at the bones and tubas. You could use it for an ethereal space kind of um, movie cue, for example. So that's, those are the three brass patches in orchestral swarm. Now we already looked at Sonya score because we could play the cue with those patches. In particular, the first patch we have is trumpets. And we're using the sustain patch. You also have staccato. And a legato patch. Very nice uh, sound. Whoops, let's go to uh, sustain. I actually have both on simultaneously. Here we go. And then the next patch we have is French horns articulations. So there's your sustain, here's your staccato. Marcato. Lossy sensitive. Legato. 
And then we have the trombones. Staccato. Sustain, we just heard. Arcado. Legato. And then the next patch, we have the brass patch, is low brass, all articulations. <laughs> Staccato. So basically, we're going from C4 to F1. And then the next library we have is that we looked at. Albion Tundra. So let's like, take a closer look. So <clears throat> they have two patches, brass high, brass low. Now, the first one, um, brass high, it's actually a specialty library. The uh, patch we looked at is called the hollow patch, but let's take a look at this first one here. It's just air. Here we have uh, bursts. Here we have uh, doodle tonguing. And double tongue mute. Finger trills. Here we have fluttered. Here we have granular flutter A. Flutter B, granular. Here we have the hollow, and here's your mini crescendo. And here we have multiphonics. Overblown. Slight bend. Uh, stifled. <clears throat> Super air. So these are similar to the um, orchestral swarm patches in that you can use them for variation. Here we have a tuning slide taken. And then the next one we have is the brass low, and we have the same kinds of articulations. As a matter of fact, they're pretty much, as you can compare the top and bottom rows, the same ones, just lower.
Just so there's your air. tongue mute, finger trills, flutter, granular flutter A, Granular flutter, hollow, mini crescendo, multiphonics, overblown. Super air. Vibrato. And short. So that's Albion Tundra. Primarily special effects brass. <clears throat> so in the next video, we'll go through the individual patches and they'll be in 1-3, Cinebrass, Project Send, and Symphobia. So that will do it for this video. So this is Bill McFadden from Tone Pure Music. If you like this video, please click like. If you want to be notified as soon as a video is posted, please subscribe. So Bill McFadden signing off from Tone Pure Music.